so here we are outside the Orange Street Theatre. It's the last night uh, performance. Uh, we're going to go inside and try and catch some reactions from the cast about how they're feeling about the last night of their run. So come with me as we go inside. Johan. Okay, this is Johan. He plays Ramjon in the in the cast. <laughs> So it's the last night. How are you feeling after the run? Oh, um, feeling um, I don't know. That's a difficult one because it's just about to end and I've had a lovely time. So I'm feeling a little bit like uh, what do you call it? Anticlimatical. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel well, better. Is, it, is there anything you'd say you've learned about your craft doing this job? Yeah, do it better. <laughs> Just do it better. <laughs> there you go. Let's go upstairs and see who else is around. Uh, coming my way is Cheyenne Chote, who's the man of the moment. Uh, how are you feeling at the end of the run? Got mixed feelings. It's great to, um, to have done such a great show and to be in such a great cast. I'm really tired, so I'm looking forward to a rest, but I don't really want to finish the show. It's a, it's, a, it's a great gig, great people, and I've had a great time, so yeah, kind of mixed feelings. Anything you'd say you've learned about your craft from doing this? Yeah, learn your line. Your line. No, real, no, really, I think um, focus. Focus, it takes a lot of focus to do our gig. And if, the moment you start to skimp on focus and um, 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 dedication to what you're doing, you can compromise yourself. And I think that's one of the things that's, that's totally. And to have, I think another good thing is, um, important thing is, if you have a really good cast giving you lots of good energy, you can do anything. And to have a lot more, to have a lot more faith in myself. Thank you, my friend. We're moving on up, seeing who else is about. Okay, so we're just going up here now into the changing room area. Uh, let's go see the girls first, huh? Usually they shout at me, so. Can I come in? Okay, so uh, I'm in the, the ladies' oh. changing room. Uh, this is the wonderful Melanie uh, Labarry. Uh, how you feeling at the end of the run? Oh, hmm. I don't think I've processed it just yet. So I think, you know, uh, tomorrow okay. or maybe Monday when I realise I'm not coming here. Yeah, you get up then, and find yourself in Richmond. Yeah. What am I doing here? Yeah. Anything you would say, it's what I'm asking everyone, what would you say you've learned about your craft during this time? Um, I think I've, I've learned to be like water. Wet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I've learned to be, no, you, you, you've learned, I've learned to be fluid. Uh, to, to be fluid and, and to be flexible and to be accepting. Um, because you know it's a live animal, it's a live beast, mm. and, and all sorts of different things happen. And, and I think I've become better at, or, or at least I've tried to become better at, at just kind of allowing things to happen and responding to whatever happens at the time. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Just over here is the wonderful Laurie Barker. Yeah, oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, how are you feeling? Um, about the last show. Yeah. Um, really sad. And what have you learned in your um, personal journey? What have I learned my personal journey? Um, I have learned to... I don't know, I don't know what I've learned. I don't, I've been in the hand, I've been blessed with an amazing piece of material. And um, it's not often that you get a great piece of writing that you're really able to sink your teeth into and um, enjoy that with other performers. I've really enjoyed that aspect. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, one more lady in here. Hey, come, Luella. Or come back later. All right, then. She's sleeping. <laughs> right, over to the boys. Good evening, Playmouse Company. This is your hot bath. Will you have 30 minutes, okay. please? In the boys, in the boys room now. Uh, uh, here's Rob. Uh, Rob. Uh, how are you feeling last show? Uh, well, I just think that there's, there's obviously mixed emotions because it's disappointing because it's going to end, but overwhelmingly, I stand behind this bridge. In fact, it, it's been brilliant. And would you say there's anything you've learned about your craft doing this show? No, uh, I generally don't find that I do pick up anything. Normally I just forget what I've already learned. Um, so yeah, I mean I always think that I do at least one good performance during a run um, of this sort of length and that hasn't happened yet. I've still got hope. You've <laughs> got one left so you yeah. never know. Yeah. Okay, so here we have Kevin and Kiris. Hi. Yo, yo, yo. Former formidable duo. 
of Tate and <laughs> yes, Lyle that's in the right. show. The dastardly duo. Hi. Hi. Feelings. Feelings. Last performance coming up. Feelings. Wow. Wow. That's feelings. been incredible. Yeah. I've, I've had a ball. I've you know, had a ball from amazing. day one. Yep. Yeah. All the way through. Right through. You know. To this point. Yep. Yeah. It's been unstoppable. Anything particularly you say you've learned about your craft during this run? Um, there's no such thing as small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very good point. That's there's no such thing as small. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we're all we an integral part to the story. We're an integral part. Concentrate. Yeah. As much as everybody else. Absolutely. And there's no such thing as a small part. Well, because it's quite amazing for you to, because it, you've had technically small point the parts, mm. but you've yeah. always been noticed. Yeah. You've yeah. always made, you've always been a huge presence, yeah. regardless, yeah. and it's added to what the yeah. play is. Yeah. Absolutely. Get me in the frame, Dave. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, yeah. my mistake. Get me in the frame. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Nice one. Thank, Thank you, thank you for listening. Much. I'm here with David. That's me. Here with David. Yeah. Um, and we're on our last night, so I'd just like your feelings on the whole experience from the first read through to the final performance. Absolutely horrible. Can't wait to be rid of these people. Uh, no, my feeling is that uh, having a generous, caring cast is fantastic. I've woken up every day knowing I was going to laugh. Yeah, uh, because and you know, if anything goes wrong, we come up here, we take the piss out of each other because we know it's a safe environment to do that, and we've got each other's backs at the end of the day. And I can't emphasize the difference that a lovely cast makes. A lot of people have said that it's one of the most joyful, energetic, and like you said, generous dressing rooms that people have worked in. Do you, do you does that bear out with your experience? Absolutely, the experience we've had in the dressing room, even to sort of intermingling with the front of house staff at the Orange Tree Theatre, has been fantastic I made the experience part of what it should be yeah happy memories all round it seems like absolutely well thanks for your time David <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Uh, who's, uh, who, who's left I don't know maybe that's it so uh, yeah enjoy if uh, if I bump to the director at some point I'll get a little interview so you can have a go at that but thanks for listening <laughs>